Acrylic glass, often referred to by its brand names like plexiglass or perspex, is a highly versatile material that has transformed industries ranging from architecture to medicine. Known for its optical clarity, impact resistance, and lightweight properties, acrylic glass has become an indispensable substitute for traditional glass. But how exactly is this modern marvel produced? And what are some of the most common ways it's used? In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the process of making acrylic glass, starting from raw materials and ending with its final applications. We'll also explore why it's such a popular material and highlight some of its most significant uses in today's world. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. Before we delve into the production process, let's first understand what acrylic glass is. Chemically, it's known as polymethyl methacrylate, or PMMA, a transparent thermoplastic that can be molded when heated and retains its shape once cooled. While it may look like regular glass, acrylic is far lighter, tougher, and much more resistant to shattering, making it an attractive alternative for many industries. Developed in the early 20th century, Acrylic glass gained widespread attention during World War II when it was used in military applications like airplane windows, gun turrets, and periscopes due to its durability and optical clarity. Today, this material has expanded beyond its military origins and is now used in everything from household products to high-tech applications. The production of acrylic glass begins with the creation of its primary component, methyl methacrylate or MMA, a liquid monomer. MMA is typically derived from petrochemical processes involving acetone and hydrogen cyanide. The initial step in making acrylic glass involves synthesizing MMA from these chemical reactions. The quality of the raw MMA is crucial in determining the clarity and durability of the final product, so manufacturers ensure that impurities are minimized. While MMA is primarily petroleum-based, there's been increasing interest in producing bio-based alternatives to lessen the environmental impact of acrylic glass production. Once the MMA is produced and purified, it's stored in tanks ready for the polymerization process. This stage sets the foundation for turning MMA into the solid form of acrylic glass that can be molded and shaped into different products. The MMA is often in liquid form, and the purity and consistency at this stage are vital to ensure the final acrylic glass has high optical clarity and strength. The next crucial phase in making acrylic glass is polymerization, where the liquid methyl methacrylate or MMA is transformed into polymethyl methacrylate or PMMA, the solid acrylic we're familiar with. Polymerization is the chemical process of bonding monomers into polymers, long chains of molecules, resulting in the acrylic's transparent, durable properties. There are two primary methods of polymerizing MMA, bulk polymerization and suspension polymerization. In bulk polymerization, MMA is poured into molds, often between two sheets of glass, and then heated or exposed to UV light to initiate the chemical reaction. The heat or light triggers a catalyst that causes the MMA monomers to bond, creating PMMA. This process is used to create large sheets of acrylic glass, which can later be cut and machined into various shapes. Bulk polymerization is highly controlled to ensure a uniform finish, free of bubbles or imperfections that could compromise the strength or clarity of the acrylic. Suspension polymerization, on the other hand, involves dispersing MMA in water, along with a stabilizer, to prevent the liquid from clumping. This method produces small beads of PMMA, which can then be melted and extruded into a wide range of shapes. Suspension polymerization is often used when manufacturing smaller, more detailed acrylic components. The resulting acrylic can vary in terms of thickness, flexibility, or hardness, depending on the intended use. The beauty of acrylic glass is that manufacturers can tweak the polymerization process 
to achieve the desired properties, such as enhanced UV resistance, scratch resistance, or impact strength. Once the PMMA has been formed through polymerization, the next step is to shape it into the desired form. Acrylic glass is highly versatile when it comes to shaping and molding. For example, when creating large flat acrylic sheets, the molten PMMA is poured into molds and pressed to the correct thickness. These sheets are then cooled to solidify and harden, creating a smooth flat surface. Depending on the application, these sheets can be left clear or colored using dyes during the production process. Acrylic can also be extruded by pushing the molten material through a die to create specific profiles or continuous shapes. This process is commonly used for products like rods, tubes, or intricate designs that require high precision. Extrusion is a fast and cost-effective method of production, but it may not achieve the same optical clarity as cast acrylic. Regardless of the method, acrylic glass can be cut, drilled, bent, or polished into any number of shapes and sizes, making it a highly customizable material. After the acrylic is shaped, it can undergo various finishing processes to enhance its durability and aesthetic appeal. Polishing is one of the most common techniques used to give acrylic glass its signature clear, high-gloss surface. Buffing or flame polishing can smooth the edges of cut acrylic, creating a professional finish. In addition, acrylic can be coated with special protective layers to improve scratch resistance or UV protection. One common challenge with acrylic glass is that it can scratch more easily than regular glass, so manufacturers often apply a hard coating to the surface to extend its lifespan. UV-resistant coatings are also applied to prevent discoloration or yellowing over time, which is particularly important for outdoor uses, such as in windows or signage. Acrylic glass is everywhere, often in places we don't even realize. One of its most widespread uses is in the construction industry, where it serves as an alternative to glass in windows, skylights, and partitions. Thanks to its lightweight and impact-resistant properties, acrylic glass is a preferred choice in buildings, especially in earthquake-prone areas or structures that require safety glazing. In the design and retail world, acrylic is used to create stunning, transparent furniture, shelves, and display cases that give products a sleek, modern look. It's also a favorite material for creating signage, as it can be illuminated from the edges to create vibrant, eye-catching displays. In the automotive and aerospace industries, acrylic glass is used for vehicle windows, windshields, and even cockpit canopies. Its resistance to weathering and high optical clarity make it ideal for these high-performance applications. Beyond architecture and transportation, acrylic is used in medical devices such as incubators, and in the production of certain types of lenses due to its optical properties. Its biocompatibility also makes it suitable for prosthetics and dental applications. Acrylic glass is more than just a substitute for traditional glass. Its combination of strength, clarity, and versatility has made it a go-to material in countless industries. From the precision of its polymerization process to the creative possibilities in shaping and molding, acrylic glass continues to be a material that pushes the boundaries of design and function. Whether you're looking through it in a window or admiring it in a museum display case, chances are acrylic glass is playing a crucial role in your everyday life. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.